Huh, you know it's going to be a rough day when you use body soap instead of shampoo. Hey guys, welcome to the Cat in the Cardboard Box. I'm the cat and this is the box. And today we're going to talk about how to make education more fun. And better. In my opinion. So you guys know that I've been playing a good amount of Assassin's Creed recently. <laughs> and during these games, you meet a lot of historical figures, like King Richard, the leader of the Crusades, or Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest artists in the Renaissance. Well, right now, I am in the middle of Assassin's Creed II, and it takes place in Italy during the Renaissance period. Now, I recently took an art history class specifically for this time, I think around like the 13th to the 15th century, which is the Renaissance. But Honestly, I think I have learned more from the game. Now, don't get me wrong, like, if I see a painting from the Renaissance, you know, there's there's a good chance that I know its title, who made it, and when it was made. But honestly, that's, like, the only thing I could tell you about it. For example, Lorenzo de' Medici. I recognize the name from my class because I remember we learned about him. But that is probably the only thing I could tell you, is that I learned about him in my art history class of the Renaissance. I remember taking at least a, a class day to talk about the Medici family, so it's like, enough that I would know something, right? But alas, no. I just kind of sat there at the game and went, I know this guy. He is important. But after playing Assassin's Creed 2, I could tell you that the Medici family were popular because they were rich. Because they were bankers. They lived in Florence, Italy, and were rivals with the Patsy family, who were also bankers. But that is not the only enemies they had. While they were so high up in the hierarchy that they were almost ruling Florence, they made a big series of tunnels to different buildings. I don't remember which buildings there were, but that was very helpful because a lot of people tried to kill them. Now compare all of that to what I could tell you from class. Lorenzo de Medici uh, was rich in the Renaissance and he had a courtyard which probably had David by Raphael statue in it. See what I mean? Now think of how helpful it would be if classes had video games as a part of the curriculum. Like sometimes they do movies, which is great, and books, which are nice, but video games, that would be awesome. You know, and it doesn't have to be Assassin's Creed, you know, you don't have to be killing people, but they could make educational video games that would actually be fun to play. You know, there are some things, you know, especially like certain people's deaths is probably not by a fictional character that became an assassin and then killed them. That's probably not true. But other than that, you know, the the events that are happening through the game are actually things that happened. And my guess is the reason why this works so well is because you're experiencing these things firsthand in a way. Like, instead of just being told that Pope Alexander VI was a bad pope, you can experience all this crap that he's doing and then kind of feel angry because you have to do stuff about it. And then you remembered that Pope Alexander VI was really kind of a sucky guy. You know, I, I did do my research and there's a lot of truth and fact to the stuff that you see. <sighs> so I know it's not going to happen anytime soon, but it would be really cool if something like that was involved in curriculum. Because then people are actually learning and remembering these things because they have to f solve a puzzle or they have to go find this person versus just reading it in a textbook. I think it'd be awesome. I know I'll be out of school, maybe dead by the time that actually happens, but I think it should and I think it will eventually. And that's my little... I don't know if you... Would you call this a rant? I guess you could call this my introduction to the discussion of the change of education. Maybe? I don't know. We can continue down below if you would like, and feel free to ask me questions, or just comment on what you think about this, and if I don't see you soon, I will see you later. Bye! They lived in Florence, 
They lived in Florence, Italy. They lived in Florence, Italy and had They lived in Florence, Italy and had a rivalry. They lived in Florence, Italy, but they had a ri They lived in Florence, Italy. They lived in Florence, Italy and had rivalry rivalry. Rivalry. <laughs> They lived in Florence, Italy, and had a rivalry... Rivals. Got this. They lived in Florence, it... They lived in Florence, Italy, and had... And were rivals. They lived in Florence, Italy, and ha They lived in Florence, Italy, and were rivals to the Patsy... Patsy.